Hi, this is Ish. We're going to do a quick slideshow here on the total addressable market of ride, Lordstown Motor Stock, fleet sales. Here we go with the presentation. Okay, now here, this is, uh, this is from last, uh, well, this is the last full year of working year, I believe. So this might be 2019. But this is a fleet owner 500. Now, I've only got the top 50 here. I didn't want to bug you with the whole fleet. But if you look at this, uh, it's the company, the industry, the city and the state, and then the total vehicles, and then the total trucks and the total tractors, okay? So they got, they got tractors, they got trailers, and then the, then the remaining would be trucks, which would be panel vans or probably pickup trucks or these types of things. So you can, you can work out the math on this. It's a bit confusing, uh, but this is the total number of vehicles, and uh, the trailers I don't believe are in, but in any case, let's just say the total trucks indicates vans and or pickup trucks, just for a rough, rough approximation. And you can see the companies you have here, AT&T, Pepsi, Comcast. So let's just say Comcast and AT&T are both telecommunications. They may have that idling requirement rolled in there. You can see they've got, uh, what is this, uh, 60,000 and uh, 29,000 and 34,000. Anyway, these numbers go on and on. And uh, the point is... These are all commercial fleets, okay? And these, and everybody's wondering, well, what's the fleets? What, where, where do? Well, these are the people that buy fleet trucks. And let's just go down: AT and T, Pepsi, Waste Management, Republic Services, Verizon. Again, thirteen thousand trucks. Coca Cola, Clean Harbors, Environmental Firm, Service Master, Sintas. Uh, that's, uh, I believe, that's. Uh, a supply company, auto parts, Cisco is also, uh, you know, a food supply company, uh, United States Infrastructure, whatever that is, uh, you know, 8.8700, um, Safe Light Auto Glass, what do they got, 8,000, zero trucks, zero trailers, that's probably 8,000 pickup trucks or vans, um, Anyway, True Green, uh, Scott's Miracle Grove, same thing. And you can go down this. I mean, this is like 10, uh, one of 50 of 500. So there's, you know, 450 more companies that own fleets. And again, of course, they have tractor, trailer, 18 wheelers, but they also have pickup trucks. And this is, you know, let's just go with the. 40% savings figure over a uh, internal combustion engine truck. Okay. Do the math. I don't know. It's a lot of trucks. And um, uh, Endurance is going to have first mover. Rivian isn't even going to be included in this. I don't think any of these guys are going to. I think they'd get fired if they bought a pickup truck that cost $70,000 with a four-foot bed in it. Uh, Tesla hasn't hit the start line yet it's a pretty unconventional looking truck it's not going to fit conventional tool beds i don't know about snow plowing uh, you know is it going to have a wide commercial acceptance i don't think so i don't think it needs it either but anyway the point is yet another market uh for uh the lord stein endurance with no competition Okay, this is just an article from Trucks.com. Electric truck fleets to accelerate in 2020 and beyond. So they're talking about delivery fleets here, government fleets. Um, and they're talking about meeting the Paris climate targets, which I believe Biden has already recharged, uh, re, uh, returned to that treaty. And so that's part of an emphasis to get uh, fleets. And again, fleets are under increased pressure to do their part to uh, build back better. Okay, and uh, they're talking about Amazon's fleet here. We're now at the point where we're really comfortable placing big, bold bets. So uh, the point is, 
they see this as a, a breakthrough year 2021 for the electric uh, fleet vehicle and I would add the delivery fleets now the Amazon basics is building their Amazon basics uh, delivery van I don't have a lot of confidence in it they don't have any experience building vans those are high use vehicles a company like workhorse has it and you know uh, with Burns having been CEO at Workhorse, he knows about delivery vans as well and what's required. And the Lordstown high, high top van is going to be a perfect delivery van. I don't think these guys that are building these vans now that are riveting these vans together in warehouses and stuff have any idea what they're doing. And I think that uh, Lordstown Motors next year, when that high top van comes out, including being the first uh, uh, EV RV, it's going to be a great delivery van. And I think Steve Burns knows that. And I think that's why they're tooling up for it now. And uh, again, they talk about government fleets here uh, and uh, the metric tons of, um, of uh, carbon that weren't put into the uh, uh, atmosphere. So uh, everybody's getting confident with electric vehicles. But anyway, the, the forecasts are that this is going to be the start of the uh, electric fleet era so there you go another market for lordstown endurance and the Lord, lordstown high top van okay this is mxux this is uh i'm going to go through a series of these this is the department of energy uh, these are incentives uh going to local law local laws and this is just a demonstration of these fleet sales that uh that the uh Lord, uh, Lordstown Motors Endurance is going to be uh, open to doing, and they are they do have an office, and they're going to launch in Los Angeles. So, anyway, clean clean vehicle fleet policy, uh, policy Hermosa Beach uh, clean low emissions fleet fleet program, San Francisco, uh, same thing. Um, and again, most of these are getting incentives from the federal government. Uh, a clean vehicle fleet policy that requires transition to other than zero zero emission vehicles. Okay, uh, blah 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 blah. Hundred percent all in a few. Okay, so uh, for the city e e fleet, zero percent, a hundred percent renewable. Uh, San Francisco. You can pause this and read this in total. Same basic thing. Uh, Minneapolis same basic thing uh fleet electrification new york city same basic thing uh these are some uh, other uh, requirements coming on but anyway as you can see these this is just a sampling of all these uh, cities and municipalities that are going to have a green fleet program and the u.s department of energy is behind it with incentives in many t places so there you go this is uh, part of the uh, total addressable market you got uh, Hermosa, San Francisco, Minneapolis, and New York City there. So that's just those four. That's not okay, this bad. is uh, another opportunity. This is just commercial fleets. And this is, I believe, a, as according to my research, this was a um, partner of uh, Lordstown Motors, Mike Albert. Anyway, uh, fleet services, uh, upfit for the pickup truck. Anyway, this is just gives you an idea of some of the fleet applications for pickup trucks. Here's one with a, a on-bed toolbox. Here's a king cab. Looks very much like the Endurance with a toolbox in the back. Again, here's another toolbox for an installer. Uh, another uh, cap and topper optimized work truck bumper here we've got snow plowing which they've already demonstrated and i've mentioned in my previous uh videos that the uh, the endurance uh, is set up for snow plowing uh salt spreading hanger steps this is uh, asphalt uh, salt spreader uh What's that? Handicap transportation. Again, this type of bed can easily be fitted on the endurance pickup truck. Um, so uh, yet another market, this commercial uh, pickup uh, uh, 
see, they these guys are partners with them anyway. They they can take the basic endurance and fit it to to this. So yet another market uh, for the endurance. Okay, I have another slide on this. I'm just going to go over this quickly. We know about the uh, chips missing out of the F-150s, and these in particular manage the engine fuel use. So without these chips, they even get worse mileage. Anyway, uh, this is from uh, March 18th, and they're going to cancel two shifts for the F-150s in particular. The point is, I, I saw, uh, saw a picture of a racetrack in um, Nashville, I think, that had 10,000 F-150 pickup trucks in it. Uh, the shortage could lower its earnings by 1 to 2.5 billion. I would say that's mostly F-150s. So this is also going to leave an opening for the Lordstown Endurance, especially in these fleet sales, because these, these fleet buyers are not going to buy F-150s if they have to replace trucks that don't have the economy chip, the fuel economy chip in them. <laughs> so, yet another market for uh, Lordstown. Okay, this is the other slide on the F-150. Top selling pickup, but despite fleet sales drop, Okay, they sold 787,000 pickup trucks in 2020 with the coronavirus. Uh, capacity at Lordstown Motors is 600,000. Best-selling American pickup truck. Uh, Ford had a small decline in commercial sales over a year ago, uh, but their fleet sales were off by 26%. Okay, 26%. Do you think some fleet managers are, well, of course, they had a, a, a lull in business, and that, that would account for a lot of uh, not replacing the vehicles. But having said that, they're going to be coming into this New Year's with a rebound in business. They're going to have, you know, 100,000 uh, F-150 pickup trucks without the fuel efficiency chips in them. Do you think Lordstown Motors might be able to take over part of that uh, 26% uh, of the fleet sales? I think so. And I think uh, a lot of these fleet owners might be uh, waiting for it because, let's face it, uh, the endurance uh, is competitively priced and the total cost of ownership is 40% less. 40% let's say 60% less, I'm sorry, so it's 40% of an ice. Now, Ford has got a, a hybrid uh, truck that they've come out with, which is pretty compelling. It's got 10 million parts in it. I don't think they're going to be buying that. I think they're going to be buying the Endurance, and especially when they're faced with a decision of uh, upgrading and expanding their fleet uh, to a bunch of F-150s that don't have good fuel economy. Okay. All right. Okay, here's another one uh, possible uh, market for the endurance. Uh, Biden wants to replace government fleet with electric vehicles. 645,000 vehicles in the government fleet. Uh, fulfillment of Byron's promise the campaign trail to swap government fleet vehicles with American made EVs. American made, that is the Lordstown Endurance. Uh, made in America by American workers. Uh, Tesla, Rivian, and Lordstown, they mention here. And uh, Rivian is a no show so far. But anyway, uh, 650,000 vehicles. So if you take out the post office vehicles, and I don't know how many were included. By the way, I think that was total inside baseball, the way that that contract was not awarded to workhorse. There was very obvious inside buying pre-deal and inside shorting pre-deal, and there should be a massive Justice Department investigation on that. But anyway... In addition to the six, uh, the the fleet going uh, EV, they also want to do rebates and incentives for consumers. And many times these fleet buyers also get these incentives, um, which they may or may not pass on the customers. So anyway, there's another uh, uh, addressable market. Now they don't specifically mention uh, pickup trucks, but 
you know, the park service. I mean, you'd think about the pickup trucks. I mean, you know, and especially a king cab pickup uh, like the uh, Endurance uh, with the extra seating. You know, it could replace a sedan. I mean, if they want to do in lieu of. Anyway, yet another market for the Endurance. Okay, this is uh, the um, U.S. Department of Energy. This is just a little known thing that I found out about which is the idle reduction strategies. They found out that most of the, a lot of the pollution is caused by idling trucks. And there's a, a big push to, and, and you can go to these uh, different uh, websites and you can look these things up, pause the video. Um, the point is uh, they want to limit idling, okay? And, uh, well, let's see if this link will work here. Uh, okay, this is a vehicle idle worksheet. Uh, well, anyway, it's a PDF file. Y you can see it's just the point is um, there's all kind of strategies for this vehicle. Turn it off when it's stopped for more than 10 seconds. Okay, and they're talking about. Uh, medium duty vehicles uh, uh they're talking about using uh, auxiliary battery packs to to power things if they're if they're parked so and this is the typical uh medium uh medium duty trucks uh, delivery trucks some utility trucks bucket trucks other trucks uh, blah 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 anyway uh, fleets and drivers about the use of idle reduction technologies so the idea here is uh, that uh, and this would apply to workhorse of uh, uh, Lord Sound Motors uh, sister company is this idle reduction emphasis and these fleet vehicles the electric fleet vehicles solve all this so yet another market plus all right this is another market for the uh, endurance and this is again about idling induction uh, reduction and they're not talking about 18 wheelers these are work trucks used by utility companies there's a bed off option for the endurance i don't know if it'll handle this bed there are smaller bucket trucks that use pickups as stations too but there are other trucks that this re uh, applies to not just bucket trucks and these are uh trucks used for working on utilities and uh, telecommunications projects and uh, one, one of these things might be running a fan going down into a manhole for example, if it were not a bucket truck or supplying power to tools in there. Anyway, the point is uh, that they have a power takeoff under an, under an internal combustion engine uh, that powers the pumps and or generators that are needed to, to power fans and or this apparatus here. For safety reasons, they have to run these trucks at idle nonstop. Whether they are actively using the tools or not, it's a safety requirement. I don't know if any of you knew this, but this is this is a massive cost for them. And uh, one of the solutions they recommend is a utility can purchase a new hybrid truck. Well, they say hybrid, but, you know, we can go electric with the thing. Now, they're just talking about the um, uh, the payback period and so forth. But uh, anyway, you can see the vehicle cost goes down by 40% when they go to uh, a hybrid. So it would even be more with a regular, with a full electric. So you get my drift here. This is yet another market uh, for uh, the uh, Lordstown Endurance. Uh, is these uh, fleets for utilities and telecommunications companies? And again, Lordstown has a, a bed off option, and uh, there are smaller snorkel trucks. I'm sure that it could accommodate it. I've seen them on pickup beds and other things. And again. There's also tool trucks and things that uh, supply power uh, to fans and so forth when they're working. So this is yet another market for the endurance. Okay, this is just another quick item here. This is the Department of Energy uh, Renewable Energy Alternative Fuels Data Center. 
and they talk about right sizing your vehicle fleet to conserve fuel and fleet right sizing uh, critical look at fleet op identify additional opportunities to reduce energy use when right sizing fleet managers evaluate how important each vision all right so this is just talking about recalibrating the setup of your fleet uh, and they're talking about reviewing telematics, which is a big part of the uh, Lordstown Endurance. And Burns is a specialist in this, and this is a big deal to them. The fleet telematics, uh, you know, uh, how far they've gone, how much battery they've used, and so on. And anyway, a as a part of this, uh, they say, you know, look at your fleet, evaluate what it needs. What can you do with a smaller, more efficient vehicle? Use your telematics and make smart purchases and it goes through uh, smaller more efficient engines lighter vehicles which is a, a pickup truck a light pickup truck for alternative uh, and down here at the bottom use alternative fuels and vehicles and hybrid electric plug-in electric vehicles can reduce the fleet's fuel use making them e economical options for many fleets Cost savings of vehicle maintenance and fuel use and price offset higher purchase prices. Okay, so anyway, uh, yet another recommendation by the government, but it, it points to the addressable market for the Lordstown Endurance. And just an example here of, uh, this is Santa Monica Public Works, and this would be considered municipal fleet clients. And uh, fleet management by city, their fleet management, they do 70% of the vehicles. They don't do the fire department. They don't do the EMS, I think. Um, sustainable, sustainable City, a member of the Clean Cities Program, sponsored by the Department of Energy, uh, promotes the use of alternative fuel vehicles. We went over some of that. 60% of the citywide fleet and over 70% of the non-emergency vehicles are fueled alternatively. Okay, so this also represents, they got 12% electric now. Uh, of course, they're going to, they're bringing down fuel emissions here. This number is going to go up. Uh, but anyway, this is just an example of a, 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 a municipal customer that uh, endurance, uh, the endurance would go to. I know in Santa Monica, the all the lifeguards use uh, um, uh, it might be LA pickup trucks, but there's police. I mean, there's just tons of pickup trucks in the in the city fleet. So anyway, just another yet another. Now you know how many cities there are in the country, and how many of them are on this clean cities uh, role. Probably most of them. So again, yet another uh, market for the endurance. I think they have a giant market here. I don't think they were talking out of turn when they were talking about the great acceptance of their product. And I think it's uh, it's an inevitability that there will be good sales. Hi, guys. This is MXUX. I hope you liked the video. I think there's a big industrial uh, addressable market here, even if uh, Lordstown only gets a bit of it. It's the only conventional electric pickup truck. I think it's going to be the first one. I don't think Rivian has a chance in this market. And I think that the, the Cybertruck isn't going to be around for a while. The electric Ford 150 seems like a half, half effort on Ford's part. And they got tailwinds from the chip shortage for the F-150. I think it's going to be a good start for the Endurance electric pickup. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. I'm going to do more work on this market and try to work out some numbers. Thanks for watching.